this new vehicle. Even the experienced off-road drivers, it will change what they think they knew. Individuals will be able to access areas that people have never brought wheeled vehicles into before. Do it safely, come home every night, and do it in comfort. We are building the world's first road-to-no-road -road wilderness vehicle, specifically for commercial applications. There is a big sector in recreational off-road, ATVs, side-by-sides. So what's happening is the industry is trying to take that product and use it in another way. So there's this void where a standard pickup can only get you so far. This vehicle will incorporate numerous technologies to accomplish its lofty goals of being able to drive at highway speeds, but also in very rugged and extreme wilderness scenarios. We have requests from mining, from exploration, development, search and rescue is big, checking the lines, uh, wilderness mapping. Indigenous communities want to uh, protect their, their lands and be able to tread softly. We want people to be able to take these things where no other vehicle goes, do it safely, come home every night. This concept was initially considered by our CEO when he lost his home in the wildfires and was recounted a story of firefighters that were trapped right around his property. We've heard a resounding feedback that whether it be a first-in scenario of exploration or scouting or a last-out scenario such as reclamation or remediation or even potentially an emergency or medical response scenario that all of these conditions have inadequate transportation solutions attached to them. This was an opportunity for us to introduce the, a, a new solution to the market. It will be a scope rewrite on what was the norm has now been moved. Uh, there's a lot of work. <laughs> There's a lot of work to do, so we're going to chunk this down maybe to cylinders. So right now we are in prototype development. We're building a one-ton vehicle. Parts are starting to come in. Everything's on its way to start integrating into this prototype vehicle. We're looking for our uh, surrogate truck to arrive within the next couple months. Once that vehicle arrives, we have an immediate work plan for it. Once it gets in here, it'll never leave the shop again looking the same. This would be the bare chassis. Uh, stripped down. So we're in the midst of now coming off the tail end of component selection. We're bringing in completely third-party transfer case, differentials, custom drive shafts, custom wheels, custom brakes, brand new hydraulic system, electronic system, pneumatic system, four-wheel independent suspension. In layman's terms, this is a lift kit on steroids with a system behind it that can do a lot of the professional off-road driving in a very consistent, safe, repeatable manner. Our control system will be controlling the suspension height, central tire inflation, the auto stabilization of the vehicle. We'll have speed limitations in, in different modes. Rear steering factors into that as well. Yeah, it'll be very bespoke and very unique to KXI. It takes a series of engineers working at all different levels to ensure this vehicle is built with the utmost of safety, quality and performance and uh, we'll be bringing our uh, core team as well as key experts from various disciplines in order to commission the machine we hope before the end of the year. So, Yes, yeah, we got the truck in. I can see the guys are like a pack of wolves, ready to tear in. It's exciting to see it here. It's, it's good to see product actually showing up. It makes it makes the project tangible now, so that's exciting. I mean, I think we want to take the fenders off first anyways, just to, yeah. it's uh, a bit surreal actually. Now we can start looking at where all of our control system components are gonna go. This is now exactly where the entire team comes together. This is gonna be full integration. This thing's gonna go in for surgery and uh, look nothing nothing like this when it comes out. Here we go. 